So today we are going to continue with part 48C of our fleet MS version 2 and we are going to continue to complete pagination. Right now you can see what we have is not looking so good. We have added the pagination here and we have total items, we have page 3 or 4, that is fine. So we, if we click on this, that is fine, okay. However, this is what we want to achieve. We want to also have the first previous next and last uh, items here. So this is a completed one I've done. And if you also look at this one, you see that these are all linked. And when you when you are in a particular page, that particular item should actually not be hyperlinked. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing now. So let's go to start exactly from where we stopped. And as you know, I've also created a procedure step by step right here in my website. So here says how to implement pagination and Today we are going to be doing the pagination, pagination layout. Okay, so let's go ahead to get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put this uh, side by side. So let me stop it from running first. And I'm going to put this side by side with the tutorial page. The tutorial page is right there on my website. So you can find a link to it in the, the description box of this video uh, below. Okay, so here we now have to go to our countries.html page. So if you can remember, in the last tutorial, we actually added this footer section here. So this footer section is responsible for displaying what we have right here. This one, two, three, four is displayed uh, by that footer section. Now we're going to replace the footer section with this layout. So it's actually uh, the footer section as well wrapped in a nav, a nav bar, and we have the on we have the on uh, on list with list items. So each of these items, one, two, three, four, is going to be a list item of an unordered list, okay? Again, if you are joining me for the first time, I'd like to recommend you subscribe to my channel and also feel free to leave me a comment if you uh, have any challenges following this lesson. So what we are going to do first is to put in the layout. So now instead of having this footer, I'm going to have this layout and you can see this total item here, give me one second. And you can see that this total item here is actually what we already have here. So let me reduce the font of this so that I can see everything. Okay, so I'm copying the footer section, I mean the navigation bar here, copy, and then I'm going to simply replace, uh, actually, I'm going to replace the footer, this I'm going to be replaced uh, like this. So let me just paste Command V, and I replace. Now this pan here that displays the count or the uh, numbers is now going to be right here where you see one, two, three, four is going to be right in there. So that's where you have a span that displays one, two, three, four. So this layout actually is available in Bootstrap uh, website in case you want to find it or maybe look for something better so you can find a different layout if you want. Okay, so let's see how it looks like at this point so i'm going to rerun this application now let's just see exactly how it looks like so if i go to the page now and refresh this uh, this page you can see that it shows uh the numbers but you can see it's not looking so good um so you have one two three four but it's not looking so good so let's go fix it right now all right, so, um, so the first thing we want to do is we have the list items. We now want to add the actual navigation items for first page, last page, a previous page and next page. So I'm going to be doing a lot of copy and paste. So I'm going to copy and paste and explain it instead of typing it out by myself. So let's start with the first page. So this is where the first page is going to be. So I'm going to copy what is in the first page. I'm going to copy it and then explain it to you. Now, in the case of the first page, once you understand what is happening here, uh, you are pretty much good to go. You understand everything. So what's happening here is that uh, first, let me increase the font a little bit. So let me see if I can increase the font a little bit. Okay. So we have the list item. Inside the list item, we have first displayed here. We also have first displayed here. So what we are saying is that if the if the current page, um, if the current page is greater than one, it means that we can we 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 should display a link to the first page. 
and it means that the current page is either page two, three, or four, or more than one. So if you are in the page two above or, and more, it means that page one should be a link. That's what we are having here. However, if the current page is greater than is not greater than one, then you have to display first. So here you can read it like unless the current page is greater than one, you should display the text, this text here without a link. Unless the current page is greater than one, it's, it has to be not a link. So you try, try to get your head around it and it's going to be really clear. So this is navigation we already have. So this is something we already have. Now let's move on to the next one. And in this case, we have the previous. If we want to go to the previous page, it means that we're going to be sure that we are not in the first page. And basically, we are going to be having exactly uh, similar to what we have here. So I'm going to copy and paste it as well in case of the previous page. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. So I'm going to paste for the previous page right here. So in this case now, the difference here is that we are going to be navigating to the country slash page slash current page minus one. So if you are in page two, it means that the current page minus one is going to be page one. So basically, this gets us to the previous page. And the th unless you see here is exactly as the same way it applies here. So let's now go to the next page. In this case, the next page, the current page plus one is what the page navigation uh, will, the parameter is going to be. So in this case, we should have the current page plus one. But for us to go to next, the current page should not be the last page or the total, the total pages. The current page must be less than the total page. In that case, when we do current page plus one right here, we will not have an overflow or we will not have an array out of bound section. So the last goes as well for as the same, similar to the first page. And I'm going to simply copy it and paste as well. So let me copy it and paste as well. And in this case, we are going to be sure that the current page is less than the total pages. So the current page is not the last page. So in that case, we can actually go to the last page. However, if the current page is the last page, then we are going to display something not a link. So unless the current page is less than the last page, which is total pages, then we are going to display a plain text that is not a link. So hopefully this suffices. I explained this right here in my website. Just, so just in case you want to read and get your head around it, please do. So I'm going to stop and rerun this application at this time. And hopefully it should be all fine um, at this point. So if I go back to this page and refresh, you can see that it displays exactly uh, first, previous, next, um, so once we are in page two, this is page two of four. Now the previous page works and the first page works. So if I refresh now, uh, it looks a little better, but still not very okay. So let's see. Um, so I'll allow you to figure that out yourself. I'm not going to spend time doing this UI. So this UI uh, problem, so try to figure out and align it correctly. Okay, so I think we are done with uh, paging at this point and now we have combined paging and sorting now what we are saying here is if we are, if we are here and I click on description once I click on description it ruins the pagination you can see uh, once I try to sort it, it ruins the pagination it breaks okay because we did paging and sorting separately now let's combine the paging and the sorting so now if if you let me increase the font here for a second. If you have pagination working as expected, but if you try to do something and click on the column header, it doesn't work. First, note that pagination takes precedence over sorting. So we'll focus on making sorting works. So to sort, we'll need to provide the page number, and this can be done via path variable. Paging to another page could undo existing sort status. Okay, so let's see how it plays out. In the HTML template, adjust the headline to include the page to sort. All right. So what we're saying here is once I have here in the header, here in the header section, we have the description. There's a field to sort. There's a sort direction, but we don't have the page number to sort. 
So in that case, I'm going to give it a page number to solve by using this and let me just make sure I'm not replacing the wrong thing. So this will be the, the anchor uh, tag will be replaced. So I'm going to replace this like this. Okay, so just go back. Okay, so this should be fine. Just give me one second. So we are going to replace from here all the way to this place, I think. And replace. Okay, perfect. So what, what we are doing here is that we are also going to pass in the page, the current page being sorted. So if you want to sort, we also have to specify the page to sort. All right, so the next thing we want to do now is in the controller, create a new method, get page with sort that derived from, derived from get all with sort. So, um, so in the controller, so let's go to, so actually this should be in the, in the service. So these, are, there's a mix up here. So we are going to the service now. So if we are in the service, these are service, we have find all with sort and it takes the field and the direction, okay? We now want to also give it the page to sort, right? So we want to give it a tag parameter is gonna be the page to sort. So I'm gonna say in, uh, in page number, okay? So in page number, so that's gonna be the page to sort. I need to pay attention to what I'm going to do here. Uh, here we need to, instead of actually passing the sort to find all, we are going to pass the, a pageable object to find all. So I'm going to create a pageable object, pageable page, pageable, pageable is equal to requests, actually page request dot off and you now specify the field to sort so it's going to be pageable uh, page uh, page request dot off so in this case let's see so we need to specify the page size uh the page and the size uh let me see let me just make sure i'm not making a mistake so the page and the size and the sort page size and the sort. So we have the sort already. So the page is going to be the page number minus one because it's a zero base index minus one. And the size is going to be five. And I'm going to give it the sort as well. So that's what is required here. And now instead of calling, because I've already given the sort to the pageable, so I'm going to now pass in pageable here. So that's basically what we are going to do here. So instead of now returning a list of countries, I'm going to simply return a page of country. It's going to be page of country. So this is a change we are going to be making in the settings. So in my website, we have a, uh, I think there's a kind of a typo. So this um, change here is going to be made in the service, okay? All right, so we finished with the service. Let's now go to the controller. So in the controller now, we need to create a new method called uh, get page result that derives to the get, okay, I think I mixed up. Okay, so in the, in the controller uh, method for, for uh, so yeah, so this is where we are. This is where we are currently. So this is what we are going to adjust. So instead of get all with salt, we are going to be having get page with salt. Okay. Now actually this, what we have here is what we just did. This is exactly what we just did. So we are actually going over this one. So um, now I'm, I'm going to simply, because we now have this get all with salt, instead of getting all, we are going to get page. And what change are we going to make? We're simply going to add the page number parameter, as you can see here. And we are going to be passing the page number parameter across to the model because HTML, HTML here requires the page number uh, to be used for paging uh, and sorting as well. So let me go back to the controller. 
So what I'm going to do now, uh, I think this code should be quite intuitive. So if I go into here, so have list of countries, find all the sorts. It's going to be a uh, uh, find page with sorts, right? Find page with sorts. So it's going to be uh, country service. Just find. It's not find country with sorting, but find page with sorts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy this and just replace uh, this and then modify. So I'm going to paste it here. And here is going to be, I think it should be find page result. So now this page number coming from the parameter, I'm going to pass it across the list. And this is in the service that we already modified. And then we have the list is a list of is a page. And of course, the total pages, we're also going to pass everything along to the model, uh, to the model, which is the UI. So this might seem a bit confusing, but for now, I'm not going to go too far because I have other things I want to uh, talk about. So at this point, if I refresh it, we should be able to page and sort at the same time uh, in the Plate MS version 2. So if I go back here right now and go back to the countries. So if I go back here, and so if I go to page 2, it works, page 3, it works. If I go to first page, it works good. Click on description, it sorts, you can see it sorts as well. So now I've combined paging and sorting at the same time, but you can now take some time to uh, uh, co complete the links in the, um, for the capital code, nationality and continent by simply copying this and then modifying it as well. So this brings us to the end of paging and sorting. And I'm going to just quickly check exactly what the next steps is going to be in our Fleet MS version 2. So let me just see. So our next step now, we've completed paging, pagination with table data. So the next class is now going to be handling date and time data. We have made so much progress and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. If you have some challenges following, please let me know in the comment box below. So if, if this has also been informative for you, give a like and also um, leave me a comment to let me know what you think. So I remain kind on the Tech Pro. I'm always there for you and we see in the nice part.